Hey friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, this beer reminds me of my photography. Don't Dial In and Focus is a 5.5% IPA from Aslan Beer Company in Alexandria, Virginia. Now just recently I reviewed a beer from Hot Butcher for the World and I mentioned that I was just really surprised to see it on the shelves here in Michigan. And I gotta put a big ditto, that's a copy for you youngins, on that for Aslan. I don't know if I ever expected to see a beer from Aslan showing up here in the Metro Detroit area. And thanks to M4 for helping to facilitate that. Now today I'm gonna be taking a look at Don't Dial In and Focus. So let's get to that, we'll take a look at the label, do that thing we do. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Ryan Berry, Eric Litowski, Brian Kramer, Zach, and Cam Freeman for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or maybe just buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.com slash draft underscore therapy, where you can get early access to these videos, exclusive members only live streams, and other perks available only to patrons. So let's take a look at the label here. This is a very colorful label. Uh, we'll start at the top in the front. It has the Don't Dial In and Focus name of the beer on both the top and the bottom on both left and right sides. Then it has a swirling Aslan logo around the edges and gets to this grid pattern in the very middle. We have the Aslan logo, and I, I can't help but notice how similar the Aslan logo is to the Quebec Nordiques logo but I digress. If we turn to the side here, it says Double Dry Hopped India Pale Ale, 5.5% alcohol by volume. It has Aslan Beer Company on the spine of the label and then the government warning. Then it also has Brewed and Can by Aslan Beer Company in Alexandria, Virginia, Herndon, Virginia. Store at 35 to 45, keep cold, drink fresh, one pint. And that's that. So we're gonna grab our, I'm gonna grab an IPA glass. Gonna grab the IPA glass today. And we're gonna go ahead and crack this. Is there a canned on date? I do not see a canned on date, but this just hit shelves in Michigan about two weeks ago. So I, I'm thinking it can't be that old. So let's go ahead and crack it. And we'll put a nose on the can. This is triple dry hopped IPA. Whoa, big punch in the face. Lots of dankness, a little bit of citrus. Feel like I'm picking up on an orangey sweet cit citrus. Jeez, if I could talk, but let's go ahead and pour it and see what we get. It's coming out very murky out of the can, but a little bit transparent, not super totally opaque. We're gonna pour it right down the middle on this super headmaster glass. I would call it the headmaster because as you can see, it produces a large amount of head. And we'll let it settle here. I am getting easily about three fingers worth of head. It is a very compact, very densely just packed head. It looks very foamy, looks very puffy, very cloudy. Uh, lots of, from the overhead, you can see lots of large bubbles just around the center of the entry point, so to speak, and then a lot of condensed, dense, almost, you know, foamy style bubbles on the top. Let's go ahead and hold it up to the light. That is very murky, very hazy. I can barely see the shadow of my fingers through this glass, through the, a pretty strong light here. Head really hasn't gone anywhere. Let's go ahead and put a nose on it. Yeah, lots of, um, lots of citrus, maybe a hint of uh, grapefruit. It also smells very, um, has a nice dank note to it. Maybe a bit of a tropical, getting a bit of a, uh, yeah, just citrusy all around, a little bit of grapefruit, maybe a hair of mango, uh, a hair of mango. I've never said that before. Um, <laughs> first time for everything. Maybe a little bit of grapefruit, a lot of, you know, citrus fruit, tropical fruit. Let's just go ahead and try it out. Cheers. Mouth feels really nice and cloudy, nice and soft. It's not, um, you know, I usually measure things on the, on the light to heavy scale. Uh, light being very crisp, very refreshing. Heavy being, you know, just heavy and thick, syrupy. Uh, this is very medium. It's got a, a really nice kind of puffy mouthfeel, very cloudy, very kind of soft on your tongue. Kind of just slips, slides down in the back. It's, it's got a pleasurable mouthfeel. The, the taste that I'm getting out of this is getting a lot of, um, not very bitter, uh, triple dry hopped. It's not, not a very bitter IPA, but I am getting a lot of the, the thing that's really sticking out in my mind right now 
is very tropical. A bit of a pineapple on the finish. Again, no real bitterness even on the finish. Yeah, up front, just a lot of sweetness, uh, a lot of a tropical, um, fruity kind of flavors, a lot of pineapple on the finish, like I said, very kind of, it goes kind of citrusy orange sweetness to like a pineapple, candied pineapple sweetness on the tail end. I've noticed a lot lately, I said it a couple videos back, and I don't remember which beer it was for, uh, but mango seems like it's a big flavor, and pineapple seems like it's a big one lately in, in you know, IPAs or these cloudy IPAs, these juicy IPAs. It doesn't say it's a New England-style IPA on the can, but I don't think that you would, uh, you wouldn't be too far off if you, if you were to call this a New England-style IPA. Again, triple dry hopped IPA. It's just very, it's got a, a bit of a biting kind of sweetness on the tail end now on this, you know, as I kind of work my way through it. It's 5.5%. That's kind of what drew me to it, to this beer, because I saw there were a few other Aslan beers out there, but I kind of wanted to stick with something on the lighter end because I feel like we've had so many beers and I feel like beers are starting to trend back down to that lower ABV. This is 5.5%. So I feel like this is kind of in that wheelhouse of being a lighter IPA. Again, these days an IPA, you know, 6% is kind of light in the IPA space these days, but this was 5.5%. So I thought it was kind of, it would be kind of intriguing to try it out and see how a lower ABV beer from Aslan, and I've never had any, anything from Aslan before. So, you know, I just wanted to try something a little bit lighter fare to see how they handle that. Because I feel like if you throw a lot of ingredients and you get a higher ABV, it's very easy to get a very full flavored, full, full fledged flavor out of that higher ABV kind of tier. I don't know if I can think of another New England style IPA, or I'm sorry, a triple dry hopped IPA that has had this much flavor, this much, much sweetness in that low of an ABV. And I know I've probably said that a few times in videos. If you scoured videos in the past, you might be able to find me say that about a few things, but I think 5.5 at 5.5, this is the most flavor on the lowest amount of ABV that I can remember having in a very long time. I'm excited, you know, as much as I love Michigan beer, I'm very excited to see what else we'll get from Aslan. And, uh, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll keep coming in, like I said, with other beers in the past. It feels like we get this big rush at the beginning when they first come into the state and they're flooded the shelves and everybody runs out and they go and they buy it. And then you don't see anything new from them for a while. And then they start slowly start to come in a little bit more. And I think it's kind of a, a sales thing. You know, the brewery might not expect to sell that much here. And maybe they get a little overwhelmed. Hopefully we'll see more stuff from Aslan coming in in the future. So I'm, I'm looking forward to trying more from them. All right, friends, that has been Don't Dial In and Focus from Aslan in Virginia. Have you been able to try this one yet? Or is there an out-of-state brewery that you'd really like to see hitting your local shelves here in the Great Lakes State? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week. It's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. This one's in Virginia. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Cheers.